Hi, and welcome back to Sofala Explains It All. In this episode, I'm gonna be talking about masking and cropping and when to use it in Beyond Studio. Let's get started. So when it comes to masking, masking allows you to contain any asset within a prop. So this means that whatever you are trying to mask will be dependent on that prop. With that being said, you can only mask with specific props in Beyond, and you can identify those props by navigating up here, and it will tell you if this prop has the ability to mask. On the other hand, there's cropping an asset, um, and essentially cropping will hide any part of an asset that you don't want there. So you can access cropping by right-clicking an asset and then navigating down to crop, and here you can adjust the part of the prop that you want to be visible. Keep in mind that cropping is limited to a square or rectangle shape. So masking and cropping are both great techniques to use in Beyond Studio. It just really depends on what you want to create. Uh, both are very useful for very different reasons. 